my channel. Today I am going to be doing a another video that involves magical girls, specifically Tokyo Mew Mew, which I have not done in a little bit. So I'm really excited to get into this video. So what I'm going to be showing you guys today is something I've had for a while, but I never really showed you guys. It is, um, I'm like looking at it right over here <laughs> on my bed. It is the Tokyo Mew Mew uh, vintage enamel pins that they used to make and it's so weird because like right now like enamel pins are like this big thing and I don't know how big they were you know back when these were made but I don't know it's just cool to look at and I don't have all of them there's a ton out there uh, there are certain characters I'm missing there are certain sets I'm missing but uh, I do feel like I have quite a few and I eventually want to hang them up but I'm, I'm figuring out a way to hang them up along with my like acrylic uh, keychains and stuff like that so I ordered a few things where I, I can use to hang them up and if you were interested in a video of like just me you know hanging up my <laughs> enamel pins and acrylic charms let me know in the comments below anyways I'm gonna get right into it if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe like the video and comment uh, and yeah let's get right into it okay so like I mentioned I have a few of them here like I, I'm gonna organize it by sets so there are different sets with different like styles of like each character I don't know if that makes any sense but once I get into it you will you'll understand so <laughs> So the first set I'm gonna show you is pins that have two characters on each one. So for example, let's start off with the side characters. It is Miwa and Moe. So from the original series, if you don't know, these are Ichigo's two best friends. Hopefully this can focus and show you guys. Yeah, I just have an enamel pin of them. All these enamel pins all came in one package so I didn't like buy each one individually so they were all random. At first I wanted to sell them because they were the side characters and I don't know I'm not really crazy about the side characters all that much but you know I'm, I'm learning to like them so I think I'll keep them. <laughs> okay so the next set is of mint and pudding right over here and they are in their Cafe Mew Mew outfits and they are so cute. It's a little hard to see these guys because the plating is gold and it's a little worn out but hopefully it's enough to make out the picture. But yeah these are so cute. I love the two character set pins. And the next one we have is Mint and Zakuro where Zakuro is in her Cafe Mew Mew outfit and then Mint is in her little elegant dress that she wears uh, at home because she is a rich bitch so what I really like about these though like this one I have a few of them that actually do that now that I look at them is that pretty much all of them do that okay <laughs> so all of them that have like the circular or like square or just different geometric shapes going on is they break they kind of are like die cutted or like <laughs> they overlap the actual shape. I really like that. So it's not just like a plain Circle or square or whatever. It's a little more interesting than that. Next I have one of Masha and of Ichigo in her school uniform and I think this is adorable. I love Ichigo in her school uniform with her cute pigtails so adorable it just gives me that nostalgic feeling of those like anime characters who are always late to school and they have like the toast in their mouth and they're running to school and stuff like that. Sailor Moon vibes. So that's that set. Next I have these sets where I only have two of these sets but they are more like diamond shaped and full body um, figures of the characters I only have mint and Ichigo unfortunately I don't have the rest of the characters in this set but you know whatever mint and Ichigo are my two favorite anyway so I'm glad that I at least have them this is mint and they're both gonna be in their battle outfits so that's mint these are just uh, I think the poses that they do after they transform so that was mint and then this is Ichigo so 
this is like when she would say her little battle tagline and stuff like that these are so hard to look at and get like the right angle for but there you go that's Ichigo and Mint okay so that's all I have in that set next I just have this little <laughs> lonely set of <laughs> Masha all by himself it's a die cutted enamel pin which I love so much just cute little Masha that's about it nothing's too special next up I have these <sighs> this set which I only have pudding and zakuro of but it is a circular uh, pin so this is zakuro it's a circular pin and it has what does it say it says mu zakuro on it and then the other one would say mu pudding so I only have zakuro and pudding this is zakuro and she's holding her weapon and um, if you can't tell it says mu zakuro on like along the edge of the circle and stuff like that and then this is pudding and it does say Mew pudding and she's just so adorable I love how her I think that's her tail on the side is running along the circle as well I think that's so cute right over here adorable she's very shiny okay so <laughs> that was that and then I have this little loner set of Ichigo holding out her little strawberry bell with like this cool like action background. So really cute. Looks like the manga panels like mixed with actual anime and I love that. And then we have Mint. This is the only one of this set I have and it's Mint and so cute and her name is separated by this cute little bow she's got her wings I love this one wish I had the rest of the characters in this set because it's just so adorable or at least Ichigo would be nice too <laughs> if not the whole set I don't know if I'm planning on like buying more to complete the set as if they weren't pricey before they're like really pricey now like the more popular Tokyo Mew Mew gets and the more popular anime gets the more popular or the more expensive these get and um yeah I don't know I'm, I'm not like in a rush to collect all of them I'm kind of content with what I have now but yeah I don't know if the time comes where I feel like I want to get the others then then the time comes so next sets are these square sets with again their name on them starting off with lettuce or retisu there she is and y'all are gonna hate me because she is my least favorite character uh, she reminds me a lot like Hanayo from love live and if you've watched my old like love live uh, school idol festival videos where I would play the mobile game I would get pissed every time I got her in the gacha and like I feel like I would I feel like she literally cursed me I feel like every time I wanted a UR card of like s someone other than her she would pop out and I hate her even more for that so that's her it, it's a cute pin though it is a cute pin I will say and maybe I just need a rewatch to show and like understand her a little more but for now I do not like her here is mint so again name across over here it doesn't fully complete the square which I think pretty cool I guess if you want to spice up like a, a regular square mint oh and they are all in their cafe Mew Mew outfit so there's that and then I have one of Zakuro there she is in her Cafe Mew Mew outfit. And then finally I have Pudding. So that's Pudding. Unfortunately, I do not have Ichigo again. Sad about that because she's my favorite, but that's okay. At least I have Mint, who is my second favorite. Next up, let me move these out of the way so I know that I already showed you guys them because I have terrible memory. These ones are so cute. These ones on the next ones I'm going to show you are super cute because they have a little additional touch to them that makes them like just a little more, you know, they give them a little bit more wow. <laughs> I don't know. These are oval shaped ones with little charms. Look how cute that is. And their charms are their, what's it called? Their weapons. They are so cute. So that's Ichigo and she has this little shush 
pose going on and she is so cute I love it I'm so glad I at least have an Ichigo in this one because I think they're really adorable they're really neat so there's that and then we have Zakuro with her outfit right down here and it's in a diamond shape and again they're kind of overlapping the actual shape of the pin which again I love so much and then we have my second favorite mint so cute love it I love her weapon a lot I think it's so adorable I think her outfit in general like everything about her is so cute gonna take a sip of my coffee okay moving on <laughs> Um, okay, so next one I have is Eretetsu or Lettuce. I will say, as much as she's not my favorite character, these pins uh, do her justice. So they make me like her a lot. So if you were to introduce these pictures and these pins to me before I had ever watched the show, I would have thought that I would have liked her. So Lettuce fans, if that helps, then take it. <laughs> I do really love the bow on her. I love her weapon in general, but I really do love the bow that comes with it. If you can see that. So cute. I love this pose too. She's adorable. And then finally, we have Pudding. So cute. I love the episode where they introduced Pudding. I thought it was so cute the way she was pissing Ichigo off. I also love the episode with Pudding where she was kind of warming up to, or I forgot his name, but the little villain that's like her age, where they were warming up to each other was so cute. Or she had already warmed up to him, but like he was like a tsundere, I think. And yeah, I thought it was so cute. And then he like, ah, okay. Anyways, <laughs> next set I have, have this, have charms as well. They're a bit different. Um, and then um, they're a little bit bigger in shape. Uh, so first off is putting over here so cute and instead of their weapon as a charm it's kind of like their god i don't even know what it's called but their little symbol you know their spirit animal symbol if that's what you want to call it i have no idea that is pudding again super cute and then we have lettuce with hers and then i think she was like a I think she was like a dolphin or something i honestly don't remember but like they're all they all represent these endangered species i believe anyways so <laughs> next up is a zakuro cute side profile looking really badass super cute love her her little charm almost looks like a butterfly I like butterfly wings but they're not and then finally i have mint so cute little wings again i do not have ichigo which i really would have loved ichigo in this pin i think she's so adorable i have everybody but her but again these get so expensive you guys so i bought these like i don't know how many years ago probably when i did my somewhere around the time i did my I don't know, one of my Tokyo Mew Mew videos, <laughs> I really don't know. But yeah, that is my Tokyo Mew Mew Vintage Enamel Pin Collection. If I get more, I'll do another video showing you uh, what I've added to it. But that's about it, that's all I have. And I can't wait to display these, cause right now they are literally, they've been like sitting how I got them in the mail. They've been like pinned to these bubble wraps and just, stuck in like the envelope that they came in but I really want to display them I can't wait to display them and uh, I'm just waiting on like these cork boards and little grids so that I can display them and kind of uh, figure out how I want to arrange everything and where I'm going to put it up in my room because I have a few ideas but I'm not like so sure right now so again if you want to see a video of that please let me know in the comments I would be more than willing to do one of that if I find the time or when I find the time so yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe it would really mean a lot to me and I will see you in the next one which is hopefully hopefully soon bye bye guys mm -hmm.